So now Logic will automatically record to the selected track, so you don't have to arm the track first or record in Ableton track as it's known in Logic. You can just press R and start recording, and Logic will record automatically to the selected track. So I'm going to press R, going to count mean for two bars, and then I can start playing. Base to stop one bar, one bar, one beat, one tick. One bar, one beat, one tick. messed up a little bit there at measure two, so I'm gonna move the playhead there with period. Two bars, one beat, one tick. Set a punching locator with control option command I. Move to measure three with period again. Three bars, one beat, one tick. Set a punch out locator with control option command O. And now I'm going to hit return. One bar, one beat, one. And let this count me in. I'm going to press R. It's going to count me in. And just play to replace that messed up part. One bar. Now, let's play this back. One bar, one beat, one tick. One bar, one beat, one tick. All right. In Logic, when you record without first undoing or deleting what was previously there, it will create a take folder or a playlist as it's known in Pro Tools. So I'm going to press Option Shift U to flatten that and just keep the most current thing that I recorded because you can't crossfade when you have a take folder. Next, I'm going to move off the track. Track 1, Classic Electric Piano. Track 2, Guitar. Group. And back onto it. So now that I have all the regions on the track selected, I'm going to press Control Option X to apply the default crossfade. And I moved on and off the track with VO up and down arrows. All right, let's play this back. One bar, one beat, one tick. And one there bar, you one have beat, it. One tick.